Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make the most delicious anti-inflammation soup. Okay, that may not be the best title for you to say, mmm, sounds so good. It may sound like, okay, I guess I should try this. Well, I want to tell you two things. One, the flavor is going to astound you. I guarantee it. But two, when you have the right reason for eating healthy, this is a no-brainer. You're going to look forward to making it and enjoying it every single day. Well, I'm Annette Reader from The Biblical Nutritionist, and I have an academy where you can go and learn God's recipe for excellent health. Be sure you check out biblicalnutritionacademy.com so you can learn how you can just be able to apply biblical principles and experience the health that you know God planned for you. In fact, we just had a coaching call today and someone was sharing how they can't believe how pain-free they are just by changing their foods. Not by adding more medications, but by changing their foods. Well, that's what I'm going to teach you today. Now, before we get started, I want to share why. We need to have a reason why to enjoy this soup. Just to say anti-aging soup, I mean, this doesn't really sound that great, but my why is so strong that I love the soup. And I want to share with you my why. And the first one I want to share with you, and you may have artwork like this in your house somewhere, and I pray you do. This says, I'm, I'm making, actually, for some reason I'm starting to cry when I read this. It says, Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for taking me skating and hiking and for doing fun things with me. This was from one of my grandchildren. It hangs on my door here in the kitchen. That's one. And then this, I hope you can tell what these are. Yeah, they're cardinals. They're cardinal handprints on a tree limb. And there's three because we have triplets, <laughs> triplet grandchildren. And so when I paste these pictures on the wall, it's a reminder why I'm doing this. And I'm going to share one more. Okay, this is a grandma moment, so just bear with me. Okay, two more. <laughs> so these are mission books. My desire is to take my, kid, my grandkids on a mission trip. So this was the first trip we took. This was in 2018. And at the time, I was thinking, wow, this is great. I can do this with all the grandkids. Well, and then the next mission trip came up, and this was in 2023, just five years later. And I looked at the pictures and like, oh, I guess I'm getting older. And then I added up the ages of my grandchildren. I'm like, okay, I have to stay healthy for a very long time so that I can have these, test, these photo albums as a reminder of the trips that I take with each one of my grandchildren. The only thing that needs to be on the front of this book is Annette's why. Annette's why. Annette's why. What is your why? Why do you want to be healthy? Many times if it's just about you, it's not enough. Maybe you need reminders in your house why. Because sometimes there are foods in the grocery store that are processed and they're designed to taste amazingly well, but they aren't going to fulfill your why. So that's your assignment. Before you even make this incredible soup, get your why. Post it everywhere. I pray you have the same artwork in your house. You got to admit the Cardinals was a pretty cool idea. And then put that before the Lord and then this soup is going to be amazing. Now the second thing I want to teach you is about inflammation. In order to understand inflammation, we have to understand where it comes from and how to recognize it. I know you recognize inflammation. I got to share with you a story. I, we were in Cancun last November and they had these hammocks outside on the patio. Every room had a hammock on their patio or, or their balcony. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna get up at early in the morning and I'm gonna go out there and just have my quiet time in this hammock. Well, I did, I, I was doing it every day. And then this last day I got, went out there and I had, had myself all positioned in the hammock. I had my Bible and my water cup, everything ready to go. But then I thought I'd just change my position before I even realized what I was doing, I was flipped all the way onto the concrete floor. Well, I knew what inflammation was because I hit the concrete barrier of our balcony when I went down. It just like totally poof, down. I was on the floor before I knew it. Well, that bruise took a long time. It can take up to three to six months for a bruise to totally heal. 
That's inflammation. <laughs> it hurts. A little bit embarrassing. Fortunately, no one saw it. But that's what happens. We have accidents. Chronic inflammation is when you're continuing to have something happen in your body that your body cannot heal from it. And that's, you know, ulcerative colitis, that's even diabetes has a form of inflammation to it. Cancer has a form of inflammation to it. So I want you to be getting your blood work done. Heart disease can be an inflammation problem. Sudden heart attacks can be an inflammation problem. Most of the inflammation causing heart attacks is the kind you have a heart attack and you recover from, but then they put you on medications the rest of your life. Yet get this, people who have a heart attack typically don't have high cholesterol. What they do have is two different things, a high CRP, CRP, those letters, C-reactive protein, and a high homocysteine level. Those two blood markers are an indicator that you have inflammation and you need to address it right away. And so those, this is why I teach getting your blood work done all the time, at least twice a year. Because if you can catch an inflammation marker in its early stages, and we're this is more of a chronic inflammation, not I flipped myself out of the hammock inflammation. But even that type of inflammation will show up, which is another thing when you are sick and you get your blood work done, your inflammation markers are going to be elevated, but they're elevated because of a sickness, not because you need a cholesterol medication. And so be careful about the blood results you get. Make sure you repeat them after two weeks after an injury to make sure the numbers are going down. So here's what I'm saying. Get your blood work done. Make sure you get a CRP and a homocysteine level. Those are early indicators of inflammation and heart disease. And that could be a sudden heart attack. High cholesterol is not an indicator of a heart, heart attack coming. So take that for whatever it's worth to you. And so now I've given you two reasons that you're going to love this soup. It's already delicious. It's not like I have to build you up for it, but I just wanna give you more reasons to pay attention to what I'm teaching you. All right, so today's soup is an anti-inflammation soup. I went to the grocery store and picked up all of the ingredients. We're gonna need two bunches of carrots so that we can juice. And we definitely want organic for the soup. The recipe I'm sharing with you today was originated by Dr. Furman. He's very much into a plant-based answer to health challenges. I've just tweaked the recipe to make it the way I like it. So we have the half cup of dried split peas, a half a cup of dried beans, and we add four cups of water. I'm gonna turn this on a low heat, and I'm gonna bring it to boil and simmer for 30 minutes. My next step is to juice five pounds of carrots. Now these must be organic carrots. So go ahead and juice them in your favorite juicer. I do not have a link for a juicer that I prefer, but I'm sure you can find one that you like. So go ahead and juice five pounds of carrots. This is going to add amazing flavor to your soup. Next, I want you to get two bunches of celery. Again, it must be organic celery, and I prefer you get it with the leaves. The leaves add more flavor and higher vitamin C. Of the two bunches of celery, I want you to juice one of the bunches, and then we're going to chop up the other bunch to add to the soup. Well, now that our soup has, has simmered for 30 minutes, we're gonna add in our onions, our zucchini. If you have leeks, you could chop up three leeks, kale or collards, and our juices, our carrot juice, celery juice, and any seasonings that you would like to add. 
We're now going to let that simmer for 40 minutes. Well, now that that has cooked really well, I'm gonna take two to four cups of the soup and put it in a blender with one cup of raw cashews. Well, our soup is done. Okay, I'm going to admit I was sampling it as it was cooking. This is amazing. Even if you don't have a Y, even if you don't have inflammation, you're gonna so love this soup. It may look a little orange, but the flavor is so good. And I think the two contributing factors to the flavor is the fact that we juiced the carrots. That automatically gives us a high, a boost in antioxidants and the cashews. The cashews just give it that creamy texture that makes it so good. Oh, this is, you should be here right now to enjoy this. But just because you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it for you. Except for the fact that it's hot, very hot temperature, this is delicious. It, to me, it's kind of like my favorite butternut squash soup, and even though we have nothing at all similar to that in it, but it's got the creamy texture and it has the flavor burst, and I already know it's gonna do what I want it to in my body. So it's gonna be a healthy addition to our menu. And I know you're gonna love it. So remember this, what is your why? Why are you wanting to be healthy? Who are you wanting to be healthy for? And grandchildren are a really good reason to be healthy. What are your plans with them? We just bought some, we just bought a little Yamaha 50 for our, our triplets to start playing on and I wanna be there for them. And I wanna be strong and healthy, not bedridden. And so I wanna do everything I can, but it's not about me, it's about you. Why do you want to be strong? Why do you wanna be healthy? Why do you wanna have energy? What is the mission that God's called you for? To be strong and to overcome what's happening in our world in sickness. Well, remember, I'm here to help you understand God's love for you. And that's why I share with you God's recipe for excellent health. He's the almighty one who created you. He loves you, desires to have a relationship with you. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Re always remember that. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die on the cross so that you could have eternal life when you accept him, when you believe in him. Well, thanks for letting me share this with you. Please go and check out our biblicalnutritionacademy.com. That's where I have all the courses, courses by myself and some of our other coaches as well. The prayer course is amazing. The Con Conquering Cancer course, can't say that too many times, it has so much in-depth information for you. Plus it includes monthly coaching calls that you can come and ask your questions. That in itself is worth it so much because I want you to finish this mission that God's called you to. And I want you to enjoy God's recipe for excellent health. And this soup is perfect. Thanks for watching. We all love food and feeling good. But are you feeling as good as you wish? Do you have the energy to be on mission? What if I could help you reclaim your health, both physically and spiritually? Join us February 8th through the 10th at the Biblical Wellness Conference. We're gonna dive into what is holding you back physically and spiritually from the wellness that God promises in His Word. My team and I are going to teach you how to do effective cooking classes in your home or even in the church. We're gonna teach you how to do Bible studies focused on health. If you're ready to take on this challenge to begin a wellness ministry, a biblical wellness ministry in your church, your community, or even just your home, this conference is for you.